Hi friends, today we're going to read about Tom goes to kindergarten. Every day Tom and his mother and baby went past kindergarten on their morning walk. That will be you soon, Tom, his mother said. Tom thought, yes, that's me, that's me building a spaceship. That's me being a king. That's me making a monster. When they got home, Tom wanted his mother to be an astronaut or a princess or a googly monster. But first she had laundry to hang up, plants to water and dishes to wash. So Tom was the googly monster and he dressed baby up as a princess. When his father came home from work, Tom jumped on him and said, let's play spaceships. But his father said, in a while, because first he had to take out the recycling bin, cook dinner and iron some shirts. So Tom was an astronaut and, the, and baby was a creature from outer space. One morning, at long last, it was time for Tom to start kindergarten. Yes, said Tom. The whole family went with him to kindergarten. Tom pushed open the gate, leaped up the steps, and there waiting for him was Mrs. Polar Bear. Mrs. Polar Bear showed Tom where to put his backpack and she found him two new friends. Tom hugged his father, kissed his mother three times, then hugged his father again. Have a good time, Tom, said his father. I will come get you later this afternoon, said his mother. Suddenly, Tom, Tom didn't want them to leave. He grabbed his father's left leg and his mother's right leg and wouldn't let go. Mrs. Polar Bear said, if you like Mr. and Mrs. Panda, you can stay for today. Uh, well, um, said Tom's mother. Um, well, uh, said Tom's father. Yes, said Tom, please. So his father and mother and baby stayed for the day. They played in the sandbox and in the dress-up corner. They painted a picture, listened to a story and sang, I'm a little teapot shot and stout. In the afternoon, they raced home to put their paintings on the fridge. And when dinner was over, they turned the dining room table into a castle. Do you like kindergarten, Tom? asked his mother. I love kindergarten, said Tom. Me too, said his father, and me too, said his mother, but she spoke so softly only baby heard. The next day at kindergarten, Tom hugged his father, kissed his mother three times, and then hugged his father again. Goodbye, daddy and mommy and baby, said Tom, but they didn't want to go. Don't you want to grab my left leg, asked Tom's father. Don't you want to grab my right leg, asked Tom's mother. No, said Tom, and he skipped away to see what Mrs. Polar Bear was doing. Tom's father and mother and baby skipped after him. We are going to make sailor hats today, said Mrs. Polar Bear. Won't that be fun? Yes, said Tom. Yes, said his father. Yes, said his mother. And they all hurried over to the dress-up corner to find some baggy pants and some sailor scarves. Don't you have to go to work? asked Mrs. Polar Bear. Oh, uh, well, said Tom's mother. Oh, uh, well, said Tom's father. And they took off their baggy trousers and took off their sailor scarves. Goodbye, Daddy and Mommy and Baby, said Tom, feeling sorry for them. Tom's mother went home and paid the bills and washed the windows and weeded the garden. Tom's father went to the office and signed a lot of papers and made a lot of phone calls. Then Tom's mother and Baby made a ship. Baby was an excellent pilot, and Tom's father closed the office door, made himself a sailor hat, sang a sailor song, and 
hurried home to find out what Tom had done at kindergarten that day. The end.